Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Did did you by chance recently hear anything about the um the study about effectiveness of parachutes versus backpacks? No. So, what do you mean? Uh, apparently, there was a study that was done that was testing the effective difference between a parachute and a backpack when like, jumping out of a of a oh. helicopter. Okay, you're supposed to land on the backpack? So, uh, apparently, this study was done, and, it, it, and I read, like, I didn't read that study, I just read some people, because it, it's come up recently in the news, and that's why I uh, was curious if you'd heard about it. So, apparently, the study was, they said they gave people at random, um, in this experiment, either a backpack or a uh, parachute. They didn't know what it was and told them to jump out of a helicopter. Uh, zero injuries occurred. Uh, so they determined that the backpacks were just as effective as parachutes so when the, jumping out of the helicopters. The helicopter was on the ground. It was on the ground. And apparently the study was done legitimately, but in order to, it was like satire, but it was like le a legit study was done with this. And I think from what I understand, the point of it was to show that, you know, there's more to just the end result of a study. Like you have to be careful with the evidence and how things are presented and, you know, et cetera, right. et cetera. It's kind of like that Morgan Spurlock Supersize Me 2 where he made the chicken restaurant, oh, but he made God it look Morgan Spurlock. Yeah. Today's an asshole. Didn't he die? Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, he died recently. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, when he made that chicken restaurant where like everything was done and it made it look like we have the best chicken, but really it's just like, this is how cruel you can be to these animals and still get all these check marks that say your yeah. chicken's great. Yeah. I thought that was actually a really good movie. That one. Um, yeah, I like that one. It, I, I liked it because, but I also, I heard he takes a lot of artistic liberties with things that he does so there's question on if it was all as real as he portrays you know oh. um but either way the whole point of the the study thing was this came up because i guess some of the big ai language models have oh the helicopter study yeah okay come across this study and it's being trained that this is a legitimate study because that's how it it was a legitimate study and apparently right. like one of those false information type things that they are known for giving out is now about like parachutes being ineffective uh, and backpacks are just as suitable of a replacement for huh. parachutes when jumping out of helicopters. It's pretty cool. Well, it's cool, except it's kind of scary as to the use in, of AI. And yeah. I mean, wait till AI starts training AI, right? Well, I think it, it Drew Gooden. I, don't, I know you've already talked about it before that you don't watch Drew Gooden or know who he is. Very popular YouTuber, previous Viner, but he just released a video like last week that goes through AI and how scary AI can be. And he's literally giving examples of where AI language models end up training other AI language models, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, because it's all these bots and it's just the circle of misinformation right. that they're learning off of. Right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at. Also, like, what the fuck just happened here? Do you think our Supreme Court's AI, and they've just learned no, that'd wrong? Be, they're not, not smart enough. Um, oh, what I was gonna say is, uh, so when you kind of think about it, like, like these art AI models, right? Um, they uh, they trained off of actual artists for the most part, um, and. But now, <laughs> by trained off of, you mean stealing their works? Yes. Well, yeah. I mean. To be fair, isn't that what art is, though? Where we learn from the past artists and then we adapt what we learn into new art. So, like, true. Oh, well, I, I buy that. Um, so, but yeah, but regardless of that, I mean, I'm not taking a huge stance here on any of this where some people get really up in arms about how our artists are being damaged by this. I mean, I'm sure they are. Um, and I think that that industry is going to suffer greatly from AI, and I don't think there's anything anyone can do about it. Um, but what I was going to say is I feel like the more this becomes circular, the more it also boils down to a single common denominator. Like, you know what I mean? Like this, this, everything kind of runs together to one similarity as you learn from the same thing. You know, what I'm, does that make sense? You think there's basically, it takes away any potential uh, difference in opinion because it's the same. Right. Like art, being... art has evolved over the years. Right. I mean, 
anyone that's taken art history classes knows all about that. Um, I don't feel like AI is going to evolve its art. Yeah. True. So you think in the world of AI, like for example, Picasso could never have gotten famous because nothing would have ever been created to be like that because that was so far different than the normal art. That or I guess maybe the future, well, I guess maybe one, one thing I'm trying to say is the future for artists has to be innovation in art, not just making a pretty painting. Because the computers can do that now. Okay, that's an interesting take and slightly different than what I would thought you were getting at. Um, I mean, it's weird coming from as a tech person and, you know, a tech industry. I always feel like the future of everything is innovation. I've never really thought about innovation in art, but I guess that does make sense. I mean, you have to do the thing the computer can't do, right? Until the computer can do it. Yeah. I mean, and that's the, that thick. Yeah. I mean, God, I, I kind of wish we were at a point where the, the AI could run for president. I'd vote. I mean, it might be uh, a little more... Um, oh, what's the word? I don't want to say kind. A little more non-discriminatory. Yeah. Or it could be just purely discriminatory. Like, that's I mean, the it, other problem. It, it is. could never win, right? It would immediately be like Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Everyone's once it, well, once it had immunity. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. We, we, we fucked up. We can no longer let the computers be the president because we let it, we gave it carte blanche to kill us all. Well, well, so, you know, we've always learned in sci-fi movies and stuff, but I think the concept is based on true things. Like the, the Is it Asimov's laws? Whatever, the three laws of AI that they're supposed to be, how it can never, like, harm a human. They're all supposed to be, like, pre-programmed with this. Was that not Turing? Was it Turing? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, 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 it's, not, it's not important. Somebody out there knows. Yeah, They're yeah you, you know what I'm talking about, though, that concept. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even though it's a language model... Clearly, it wasn't programmed that way because the things that they said have hurt people. Yeah. With, you know, false information. Maybe maybe it's the concept of, oh, I didn't know it was hurting somebody, so therefore... Right, right. It's, it's not there. But, I mean, were, was that even, like, conceptually brought up as something that needs to be done before these things were released out of the wild? What, the AI? stuff yeah about that about these ais and making them program to to not be basically wanting to take over the world like who yeah. says that this language model can't take over the world by it, it runs on a computer in a server somewhere it could in theory just get smart it learns enough it finds like missile codes and knows how to launch them right i mean yeah that might not be the worst thing for us um, i mean <laughs> um i mean i'm assuming what happens because of the way that all of this works currently, like chat GPT and stuff, it doesn't have access to current internet, only has access to old internet. And so I don't, I, I don't think it can affect things. Outside. We've, oh, we've changed the nuclear code since then. So we should be okay. Basically. I mean, yeah. And like, it doesn't have access to the outside either. You know what I'm saying? But it needs to, how do I get to it then? So you work in security. You yes. know how this works. But you give, exactly. If you give the public any form of access to it, you no longer really have as much control. I feel like it's, it's only pushing there. the answers out to the public, though. Like, I feel like it doesn't have, because, I mean, it, you can't search the internet, right? We know that. Um, like, I feel like its access to manipulate the outside world is very limited. Now, will that always be like that? Probably not. But I think right now, that's the biggest thing that's keeping everything fine. Is uh, I mean, in Terminator, wasn't like D Day when they gave it access to the internet? Yeah, when they well, when they turned it on and it was connected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the wrong layer. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm trying to make this lava fall safer that you were just wandering around by leaving it there to get light but not just be a puddle on the floor anymore. yeah it's pretty dangerous over there yeah i'm safening it up a little bit I keep gathering redstone and i don't know why i'm doing it because <laughs> we use it for so much yeah like it's 
no use. Other than your one piston. Well, two. Two pistons now. If anyone comments about this high pitched buzz, you're banned. <laughs> I can hear it too, guys. I'm. I'll. I'll be the first comment on your video. Yeah. What's the deal with the buzz? Yeah. They have nowhere a good place is to put lava in here just to make this a little brighter. It's we're running out of good spots. Yeah. I feel like we're running out of cave, which is I uh, I agree. I, I'm sure a big part of it's that we. Just don't know how to get to some of the spots that aren't there yet. Maybe they're through walls or something. Because I keep ending up circling around toward darkness. And I loop right back to like somewhere we've already been. Yeah. So now I'm just trying to, you know, make things safer in here. There we go. Like I saw our front door just a second ago. So you're pretty close to the house, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, we're we're real close to the house right here. Yeah, I am interested to see because, of course, in the medical industry, I mean, AI is the hot buzz. I mean, it's the hot buzzword everywhere. But yeah, they're gonna start. You know, they want to start ethically using it, and everybody talks about we're ethical use of AI, ethical use of AI, but nobody. That's not what their focus really is. Their focus is just like using it because it's helpful. Yeah. And it's going to be really interesting in the next 10 years or so how AI can transform medicine. And I I've... think ultimately it's going to be a good thing, but I think there's going to be plenty of bad events along the way to I get mean... to that good I feel like a lot of the things that go wrong in hospitals and all of these things are human error. So I think for the most part, this is only going to be good for medicine. Well, until the AI is telling you to do treatments that would not be appropriate, um, which I, I'm not, you know, computers are clearly smarter than humans are, but they also have clearly shown they don't necessarily say all the right things all the time. Right. Right. Yeah, true. I mean, okay, I definitely just found some crazy darkness back here. People have been complaining because I don't use Optifine like you. Uh, but my Optifine is off because it doesn't do anything. Oh, because your All videos it did was are make brighter my... than mine? Uh, oh, I guess the Optifine I did have did have a brightness setting that I was able to turn on. Now that I have Optifine off, because I thought that was going to fix that screen tearing issue that I still deal with. Oh. Uh, maybe I should put it back on just for... Uh, so you have the better video? For that. Um, I, I No, because I got that weird screen tearing that happens all the time. Oh. Well, the whole I have screen a just... screech, so there's that. You have a little dust and diamond? That's crazy. I don't know. Wait, was that... Say... Uh, Save by, by the, the Bell, bell reference? Okay, okay. Yes. All right. Wow. We just lost all four of our viewers, Jeff. No, nobody dislikes Dustin Diamond. God rest his soul. Is he dead? Yes. What did he die of? He got, like, I think, pancreatic cancer or something like that. Oh. Right. It was like right when he, shortly after he tried to come back to relevance and like release his own sex tape. And then all. He released a sex tape? <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then he like announced that he had pancreatic cancer. I think it was like a month or two later that he died. Like it took him quick. But yeah, he like seen, released uh, his own sex tape. Have you seen Jimmy Carter lately? No. I also haven't particularly been like good enough friends with him that we hang out regularly. I don't know that he's got it all at all there anymore, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much hanging out y'all can do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jimmy Carter may be going senile? <laughs> um, but he was so young and spryly. His wife just died. I don't know if you knew that. I did not. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's 99 now, and he looks like the Crypt Keeper. keeper. Like, actually looks like the Crypt Keeper. It's scary. Um, he's on hospice, so maybe maybe he'll get some release soon. He's, he's not going to be much longer either, is what you're saying? Yeah, I don't think so. He looks really rough. 
Um, yeah, this but people were really mean after the debate that he's eligible. Uh, one term. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I did read something that um, people were saying that in polling, like Michelle Obama is would beat Trump by 11 points or something based on current polls. I will I like, never believe America is going to, at the current stage it's in, elect a, let woman, a woman be president or a black person again. So, yeah, I don't believe those polls. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe in most of those polls either, but that would she would not be a bad candidate in my no. opinion. No, I, I agree. Very, yeah, very very good, and she and also with the backing of like Obama or Barack again, like with you know what he dealt with for the eight years, granted when she was the first lady and actually doing good things in that position, that would be a great combination mm. of people to have. Hell, even have him be. I guess he can't be the. Have we ever figured that out? He can't be the vice president, right? No, because you can't be. You have to be eligible for the office, right? So that he can't be speaker of the house either. I don't believe. Yet Trump could be as a private citizen. That is true because he only served one term. Yeah, what weird. Um, I mean, honestly. Can't he just be president forever as an official act? What's to stop that? Uh, I mean, apparently sending fake electors is going to be deemed an official act, right? That's what his lawyer said. I've read a bunch of different opinions on that, and I don't really know what the what the truth is. Everyone's got opinions, and I don't, half people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So I don't know what the deal is with that. A lot of people are saying that's not that's not going to work, but. Oops. A lot of people are just saying there's no way this is going to go to trial anymore either, so who knows. Yeah, I mean, the the whole not going to trial thing is scary. I mean, honestly, if he would just drop dead, that would be the best thing that could happen. Like, because what's more scary than him not going to trial is him going to the White House. Yes. Well, another thing that I don't understand, too, is after the debate and a lot of people were calling for um, Biden to drop out and have the a different person be running from the Democratic side because of how poorly he did. And it showed his age and people are going to have lost you know all this faith in him. What happens at this point if even if one of them dies or just decides not to run? You can't win the nominee because you didn't. Nobody else would have won enough. The con- the con- the at least the DNC's convention. I don't know. I don't know enough about the RNC to answer this question from the Republican point of view. But technically, the DNC doesn't have to listen to the, anything. There's their super delegates or their delegates like decide who the nominee is. They just always follow the will of the people. But they and don't when have does to that, do that. When's the nomination go through officially? Um, it's sometime soon. It's in July. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gotta be real soon. So so if they dropped sometime before. The nomination. It's fine because what my biggest fear would be, okay, maybe there is a benefit to, you know, getting Biden off the ticket and having somebody else in there. I think it's a little, you know, late for that. But if you end up somehow deciding that Biden needs to come off the ticket or even Trump coming off the ticket for the Republican side, like it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to win required to have a right. in. Yeah. I don't know what would happen about the ballots in each state, and I think it would be different per state probably, um, which would be a fucking nightmare because there is a time – I mean they were just talking about how like Biden wasn't going to be on the ballot in Ohio because the DNC certifies his election after their cutoff. Like a a week after the cutoff, which was stupid on the DNC's part. I understand that it's been given grace in the past. Just plan your fucking nomination times for within the window. Yeah. How how is that hard? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. Um, I mean, honestly, I think what should have probably been done is they should have decided Biden was a one-term president when he went into office. They should have said it out loud, but they, everyone, everyone that mattered should have known that, you know? Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, then someone else should be running right now and it shouldn't be Kamala either because <laughs> she's not liked very well. Yeah. She's, she's not. Like, that's the, my biggest she, worry, is if, let's say Biden does step down right, right now, he's got to endorse someone, right? Because they're going to go to a convention where they need to have someone that's been endorsed, and 
the current president endorsing someone would be a good endorsement, you know? Um, I feel like everyone's going to expect it to be her, but that's not the right choice. You know? What are you thinking, Newsom? I don't actually know what the right choice is. I just know that she's not liked, you know? I don't know enough about Newsom. Everyone always says Newsom. Yeah, but, I've heard I've heard his name a lot since the debate, and I didn't know he was still that like relevant. And I mean, he to, debated to um, oh, what's stupid Florida man's name? Uh, Ron DeSantis. DeSantis. Yeah, he debated DeSantis during the Republican primaries for some reason. I don't know what that was all about. Um, didn't do DeSantis any favors. I know that. Um, but I don't know why DeSantis even agreed to it. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> this this can't help you in any way. It can only hurt you. Um, and you're giving like Newsom a platform. Like I don't know. I don't know why they. Uh, I don't know why Ron DeSantis agreed to that. But um. yeah, I I also wish we had gone a different way early on. I th- I think people get in their heads though that this is the current administration. It's doing well. It really is doing well, even though there's a lot of like spin put on it to make yeah. it look like it's not doing well. And they say, since we're doing well, clearly we're going to be the best suited to like continue this forward and, and win. But that's not true. Yeah. I mean, people put a lot of weight on this incumbent bump that I don't necessarily believe is a thing anymore. Like, I believe it's a thing, but I don't know that it's going to matter in this election. I don't know if anything's going to matter in this election. I mean, everyone's vote matters, so if you're out there, vote, even if it's for that's, the that's orange true. man. But yes. if it is for the orange man, I don't know why you're watching my videos. So just stop. Yeah, everyone can have their own political views. Some of them are just wrong. <laughs> um, and without, we're out of time. <laughs> so, uh, All right. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.